Hello Stampers! I'm Kelly Atchison at EstampAbove.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. I hope you're having a good Thursday. We have um, overcast skies here and it's just kind of crummy outside, right? It certainly doesn't do much good to boost morale, I'll tell you that. Especially with everybody being locked in their houses and then have gloomy weather to add on top of that, right? Hi Stacy, you're the first one in here today. I am much earlier today than I have been all week. Hi Sharon, Laura, Tundra, welcome. I'm so happy to see you guys popping in here. Hi Kelly. I hope you are doing well, my friend from Oshkosh. I have a super duper cute card to share with you today. And let's see, where did my little, here we go. I want, I, I have everything setting all over my desk here. It's kind of a little bit of a mess. Let me get things situated. I, I just walked out of my office to go get my mail because I, I, Steve had brought the mail in and set it on the counter in the kitchen. And I walked out of my office and I got down the hallway and I went, I have no idea. Why, why am I headed this way? Like I couldn't remember what I was supposed to be doing for Pete's sakes. So, you know, you do what you do, right? We all do it. I turned around, came back in my office and I saw one letter sitting here, one card in an envelope that I had gotten in the mail and I went, yep, mail. So that's why I'm a couple minutes later than I said I would be because I got a little distracted and couldn't remember what I was supposed to be doing. <laughs> Who does that? Do you guys do that? I know I do it all the time, like all the time. <laughs> Anyways, I have some mail to share with you. I got some really pretty cards in the mail and I'm just gonna share with these these with you um, while we're waiting to, for everybody to pop on. I see Kathy coming in and Diana and Judy, welcome. Here's Randy, happy to see you guys. Oh, I'm playing with my earrings. So. So as I was getting dressed today, this sweater looks, it's really a very dark kind of bluish green color, but um, I bought these fancy earrings to go with a dress shirt that I bought for our trip to Arizona, which we didn't go on, right? I know, it's not that big of a deal. There's bigger problems in the world. But anyways, I bought these fancy earrings to go with this really pretty bluish green shirt that I bought. And so this morning when I was getting myself ready for my day, I pulled open my little drawer under my dressing room table. You guys, for those of you that are new, I have a, we have a five bedroom house. One of the rooms is just a bedroom that nobody lives in, right? It's got a bed and a bookshelf and a closet. And I call it my dressing room because that's fancy, <laughs> but it's just a bedroom. So anyways, I was sitting at my dressing room table and I pulled open the little, um, I think it's like a keyboard uh, drawer. And I have a box, a thin box, a big box that's only this tall that sits on there and I just throw all my jewelry in it. And um, I pulled that open, I was looking for which earrings I was gonna put on today and I saw these fancy ones and I thought, ooh, I grabbed this sweater because that'll match these, right? So today I'm wearing fancy earrings even though I'm going no place. And I thought, you know, we need to treat ourselves a little bit, right? So I'm going to get fancy for you guys. And that would be like maybe my goal every day because I'm certainly not going out to impress anybody, right? <laughs> so here's my fancy earrings. I know, I think they're really pretty. But that's what was going through my head is, should I be wearing fancy earrings when I'm just sitting at home? And I thought, yes, yes, I should. That's going to make me happy. And it does. Hi, Sandra. Hi, Suzanne. Donna's coming in. Happy to see you guys. Gilmore is here. Um, yeah, I have a really super cute fun fold to share with you today. And I can't hardly wait to get to that. But before I do, I'm going to show you the cards that I got in the mail. And I know this is backwards. There's a problem when I mirror my screen, so it's going to be backwards. But it says, thanks. And I love the use of the circle punches here. Like, what a great thing to do, right? And this comes to me from one of my team members, Jay Shante, and she received her woven thread sequin pack from the team meeting and she wanted to thank me. And um, she needs to learn how to make a cool shaker card. Well, Jay, you're in luck because tomorrow with the Totally Techniques blog hop, I'm part of that design team, we are featuring shaker cards. So you'll see that on my blog tomorrow, www.estampabove.com. And um, 
yeah, I haven't made them yet. <laughs> but we're going to have shaker cards. I'm really actually excited about designing some shaker cards because I haven't made one in a very long time. And they're super duper fun. And I think the more fun we can have right now, the happier we're going to be, right? I shared, um, I shared a little uh, meme today to some of my um, family on, on Instant Messenger. And it was... It was a blueprint. Let me oh, shoot. Can I find it? Um, yes, I can. It was a blueprint of like a house. It was a house. Um, like if you were to look at a blueprint, you know, you got a bedroom here and a bathroom here, and it's just an outline of a blueprint. And let me see here. This is what it said. It said, looking at the map for some weekend travel ideas. <laughs> and it's all inside your house. Maybe I'll share it on my page so you guys can pass it on because it's pretty darn funny because isn't that seriously the truth? And then my friend Lori messaged me and she goes, well, I was on vacation yesterday in my back room and today I'm going to be on vacation in the kitchen. <laughs> so it was kind of cute. Anyways, you know, you got to do what you got to do. And I just shared the uh, Coronavirus Rhapsody, I think it's called, on my Facebook page. And it's um, to the song Queen, and it's pretty funny. Let me see if that popped up. Yeah, Coronavirus Rhapsody. You can go over to my, my personal profile and listen to the lyrics that somebody changed about the coronavirus. But, you know, none of this is funny, okay? Don't think that I'm making light of any of this. I really am not. I do understand the seriousness. I understand that this is devastating people and families and, and our country and the world. But you just got to laugh sometimes, right, to keep your sanity. So that's what I like to do. Um, Cindy says she saw one like that for a wine walk through your house. Yeah, you can go in each room and have a glass of wine, right? <laughs> yeah. So Haley was over earlier today, and she made um, some, she designed some more cards for me using the Ornate Garden Suite. That goes live April 1st. It's a brand new suite of products from Stampin' Up!, so um, my Stamping Society has a blog hop every first of the month. So on April 1st, it won't be an April Fool's joke. It's going to be real. I will have a blog hop with the Stamping Society. And that's the design team that I'm on where we give you a blog hop using a product or a suite. And this time we're using the Ornate Garden. You'll have a blog hop. And then when you place an order with me as a gift, I have an exclusive tutorial that everybody in the design team has contributed to. And so there's at least six different projects using that same suite of products plus exclusive videos that will never be released to the public. They're exclusive for our customers. You can either buy that tutorial from me for $7 when it's available next Wednesday or you can place an order with me and get it for free. But they're really cool. And I like having a ton of ideas with one particular product or suite or punches or, you know, what pro punches would come under product category, right? You know what I mean. So, oh, I see Karen's here from Australia. Kay said the song was really funny. I'm glad you liked it because I was totally giggling listening to it. Me and Haley listened to it. But anyway, she left just a little while ago. She is on her way home and has her ultrasound this afternoon. And if you guys remember yesterday, I told you that she was going to ask her doctor if possibly she could get induced to have the baby before this whole pandemic gets worse than it already is. And um, I talked to my friend Lori, who lives in Michigan. She said they have 3,000 cases of the coronavirus there, and it's turning into a real chaotic situation. And in Wisconsin, Haley said we're only up to 600 so far. So we're a little more remote. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just keep keep saying prayers for everybody, right? By the way, um, I don't want to show you Jay's address, but here's Jay's envelope too. She, she um, did the envelope deal and matched it to her card, which I absolutely love. Things like that are so fun to get in the mail. Okay, on to my next card. This is a beautiful card. Check this out. This is a photograph, and I have in the past made cards out of my photographs. This is from my friend Denise. She winters in the Mesa, Arizona area, and she actually goes out to see the wild horses. So she took this photo of the wild horses in Mesa, Arizona, and turned it into a card and sent it to me. 
and um, Denise and her husband are on her way their way home from Arizona starting yesterday so I've got you know all good thoughts and prayers going with them that they have a safe trip home too but um, Denise uh, said um, da -da, she can't wait to get home and play with her new products because she she had a Facebook party and so she got to reap all the benefits from everybody ordering on her Facebook party so there we go wild horses these are real wild horses in Arizona very cool picture then I got a card from Karen drain and this is super duper cute look at this it's like a little matchbook right isn't that cute with the little ladybug set yeah and it says hey lady it says Kelly thanks for the fun Sunday stamping plus your extra Facebook lives I learn a lot Karen drain so she said this is a matchbook card I thought I would try making one she gives me the dimensions they're three and a half by eight and a half um, and in from the bottom okay I tried glue dots, no luck, had to staple. Hope you like it. Yep, so she stapled this little tab on here. And that worked really good, Karen. It's holding up, and I love your card. Thank you so much. This is a really cute idea. You know, you don't have to make giant cards for people. Um, little cards are just as cute. And then I got this nifty card in the mail today from Karen Gondon. Look at this. So she really did some extra work to make sure that this didn't get damaged. She cut a hole out and look at it. <laughs> it's a roll of toilet paper. And it says, you just don't know what you have until it's gone. And it's funny because you know the little wooden signs like I have, I have like these, do all things in love. Um, and I have another one somebody sent me up there that says I'd rather shovel sand than snow. Well, I happen to have a sign in my upstairs bathroom that says, you just don't know what you have until it's gone. Toilet paper, for example, it says. So I like those funny little signs. And um, she put in here, I'm so glad I have you. And Karen says, I made this card after spending my Saturday morning on the hunt for toilet paper, but found none. This is old Stampin' Up! paper and it reminded me of a 1970s bathroom. So she's got the tiles right here. Yep, it does. It reminds me of that too. I hope this gives you a giggle. She said, P.S. I have enjoyed the Facebook anniversary editions and P.P.S. I got some toilet paper. <laughs> Good for you, Karen. That This just made me happy. So thank you so much. I love your card. It's adorable. And let's see, that card goes over there. That's part of a swap that I'm in, and I will show you those later. But I like her creativity. Okay, this is an Amazon mailer, and she cut a hole out to fit over this, because this is kind of raised up pretty good. This has got um, some pretty substantial, like, um, adhesive strips under it. So she just put this on here. So you can do that with your cards, too. Save those mailers. I've never actually thought about it. I've been throwing them away. I'm going to start saving some for that specific reason. All right. We got lots of people popping in here. Um, from the drawing yesterday, I said that I would be giving away one of the kerchief card kits. These were available during our celebration and ran out super quick because they were so popular. These card kits, I know it's backwards, but you can see the cards. They are so pretty. And I just happened to have a few of these. And our winner from yesterday is Catherine Kirchaw from New Mexico. So Catherine, this will be going out in the mail to you and I hope you love it because these are so fun. I'm going to set that right there. Now, I wanted to let you guys know, tomorrow, um, for everybody who leaves a comment today, you'll get entered in a drawing. Now, that comment can be left here on Facebook. If you're not a Facebook person and you're watching the replay later on YouTube, you can leave a comment there. I put everybody in there together. And I'm going to be giving away a pack of the Golden Honey specialty designer series paper. This also was one of our celebration products that went really fast. So just happened to have an extra one of these and I thought, oh, this would make a great thing to give to somebody, right? Okay, I have to make sure that I don't lose that. 
and that I remember that's what I said I'm gonna give away because I had to go back and look at my video from yesterday until I got to where I said what was gonna be for the drawing today because I couldn't remember. I know it's so frustrating, right? All right, I am going to, hang on, I gotta get my phone cord up there. I'm gonna move these cards out of my way and I'm gonna bring you guys up on my screen. Maybe. If I can find you, hang tight. Who do we have coming in? Mary. And Heather says she loves that paper and stamp set. I do too. It's really cool. Here's a, remember this? This goes along. That's where that paper's coming from. This black honeycomb paper is coming from that golden honey specialty paper. It's super, super pretty. And I'm sorry if anybody was unable to get some because it was gone so quickly, but holy cow, how do you know that that's gonna be such a hot item? Except most of our stuff is kind of pretty hot, right? <laughs> That's the way I look at it. It's like, yeah, well, most of it is pretty important. Okay, um, I'm almost got myself up here so I can see your comments when I flip the camera around. Make sure I'm on mute, and I am. You guys don't want to hear me twice. That would be a whole lot of Kelly, right? <laughs> Hi, Kay. Hi, Cindy. Welcome. I see Bernice coming in. Um, okay, I've got your comments here. I see Terry is here and Lana. Oh my, what a day. Got to, hang on, got to sit down and be able to relax. Oh, good for you, Lana. And a big shout out to all of our service workers, whether you're in the medical field and you are continuing to go to job every day, to your job every day, um, whether you are, whether you work at a gas station and you're keeping the gas stations open for the people who need, need gas or you work at a grocery store and you're making sure they stay open so we can buy food. Huge, huge, like I bow down to all of you that are continuing to keep our country running in some, with some normal things available, right? I just can't say enough thank you to those people for what they're doing and especially the medical community because that puts them in a really bad place. They're in a place where this virus is definitely going to be and they're still going to work. So, <laughs> Char says she saw the bear. It's your daughter that Haley did. I did a little video of Haley um, with the teddy bear. So funny little story. Yesterday when she, um, she was watching the Facebook live when I, when I was going to bring the bear out. And I remember, if you guys remember, I said, Haley, if you want this to be a surprise for when you come over tomorrow, you need to stop watching the live right now. And she did. She shut me off. And so today when she came over, I'm like, did you see the gift? And she's like, no, I shut it off. Well, I need to see it in real life. So she really shut it off, the little teddy bear from Barbara. I can't show it to you because she took it home. <laughs> she was so touched by that. And she just kept feeling it and going, oh my gosh, this is so adorable. And feel how soft it is and the card and all the things. She just loved it. So thank you so much, Barbara. It was just so sweet. Um, yeah. And then what else happened today? Don't forget, Friday at noon is the deadline to get your card challenge cards in. Let me grab that. Remember on Sunday, we made a bunch of cards with this, this layout. And then I put it on my Facebook page as a challenge for you to make cards with this layout. Somebody's going to win something really cool. So everybody that submits a card under the challenge comment, I have a video from Wednesday, so yesterday on my blog that will tell you how to put your card under the challenge post. So if you've never done that, you can do it. It's very simple, but it'll show you exactly how to do that on Facebook. You want to enter this because everybody that submits a card to my Facebook page is going to be entered in a drawing to win a fabulous product. I'm excited about that. So I wanted to make sure that I told you guys about that. Hang on. I got to shut off my space heater. I was cold and then I get hot. Now I'm hot. You guys make me hot. Is that too much information? No, not that way hot. <laughs> Warm. <laughs> okay, and Joni says she's working on the challenge. Yay, Joni, you go. Um, are the dimensions on my blog? Susan, they're not. But here's the deal. This is a card front, so you've got a couple layers here. So this layer is going to be 
four by five and a quarter. The next layer is gonna be either an eighth inch or a quarter inch smaller. I think this is, this is three inches by one and a half. So I think that dimension is on my blog, I think. But anyways, um, if you saw my Facebook Live from Sunday night, you can find all the dimensions in that video. It's pinned to the top of my Facebook page. So there you go. But yeah, um, and it doesn't have to be my dimensions, just this kind of layout. And you do whatever you want with it. It's your card. I want to see what you come up with. So yes, Candy, you need to watch the video for this so you can enter it. It's going to be really fun. Like there's a lot of people posting cards. And today I had somebody email me a card and I posted it for them because they're not on Facebook. So I did that. I can, I can, I can do that. Um, then I wanted to tell you, so funny, um, I got a phone call this morning and I don't have a lot of people that call me and it's kind of cute because lots of times people don't think that I'm really going to answer the phone and I really do because like I'm a real person. I'm a real person here in Menasha, Wisconsin. <laughs> and I think sometimes when you watch somebody on the internet, you, um, that always doesn't, isn't a, a thought, right? Like, oh my God, she answers her own phone. Yep, I do. <laughs> And so it was really cute. June Franco from California called me this morning and it was just so sweet. Um, June said that she just loved the videos that I was doing and she wanted to thank me for them and I was just really touched by that. But we had a good conversation and one of the funny things that she told me about is she won. She's the one who won the um, gemstones yesterday in the drawing. So she watches later on YouTube and her family kind of goes in and out of the room so they know who I am. It's the lady with the crown again, she says. And when I announced her name as the winner of the prize, she was just like, whoa, what? And one of her kids was going through the room or in the room and said, whoa, you guys, mom just won something on TV. <laughs> so funny. We had a big laugh over that. And then she has um, a three-year-old grandchild, and she likes to sit with grandma, and June will have my videos on. So the three-year-old seems to really like to watch me. She can't, she's two or three years old. She can't really, she can say some words, but she can't really talk real well yet. And um, June said the three-year-old went home, and, and the three-year-old's mom um, was, the, the three-year-old wanted to watch something on TV, and so the mom was trying to find, you know, like dragons or Dora or something. And the three-year-old kept, no, she didn't want that. She kept saying, blah, 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 whatever the child was trying to say, the toddler. And so the mom called June and said, mom, what have you been, she wants to watch something, but I can't figure out what it is. She doesn't like any of the stuff that I'm showing her. And June's like, well, I don't know. You know, we watched the dragon show and the Dora show. I don't remember what it was, but something like that. And she goes, oh, type in Kelly Atchison on YouTube. And she typed in my name on YouTube. And when I came on the screen, the three-year-old was like, yay! That's what she wanted to watch. So she thinks what she was trying to say is grandma's friend, grandma's friend. And um, this little girl watches her dad a lot on Skype because he travels a lot for business. So they do a lot of Skyping. And so because she can talk to her dad, she thinks that I am her grandma's friend, Kelly. <laughs> Isn't that funny? So I just had to share that with you because it was kind of precious. and It's kind of a cute little story. You never know what people are thinking, right? When, um, how is that impacting a three-year-old? And why does she want to watch me? But I think she likes the sparkle in my crown. And well, I do too. No, I don't know. It was just a really cute story. Oh, and I have to tell you guys that I'm getting um, grimier by the day. So I only have one fingernail left. And I can't get all the fingernail off of this one. So you guys, it's getting bad. We can't go to nail salons, right? So I know it could be much worse. I have to do my own nails, but I haven't done them. I just, you know, these, these are coming off. So they're really hard to get acrylic nails off too. It's not something that happens easily. So I know I'm among friends. You guys are going to put up with my crappy fingernails. I know you are, and you're not going to care in the least little bit. So I just wanted to uh, share that with you. I think that we are ready to stamp my friends. And um, don't forget to share my video. If you would, you can click on that share button right now. It really helps me out whether you're watching live right now, watching later on Facebook, or watching the replay on YouTube. I always appreciate it. Share. 
Okay, so I have a fun fold to share with you today. It's something that I haven't made in a long time, but I love these kind of fun folds. Are we ready? Are we, are we ready to flip? Because I think we're ready to flip. Yep, yep, I see that. Okay, hang on. If you get motion sickness, please close your eyes. I'll tell you when you can open them again. I'm going to get my phone set up here so it's in place and hopefully I don't disconnect you guys because that's always a possibility. Turn on some more lights here. There we go. Yeah, it's really gloomy here in Menasha, Wisconsin. Okay, I think we're good. Um, you can open your eyes now. I'm going to make sure that my screen is... Oh, I got Mary Lynn from Texas. Hi, Mary Lynn. Amy says, hey, Kelly, what are you drinking tonight? Thanks, Amy. You guys know what I'm drinking. Strawberry lemonade. I'm so boring, right? Mm-hmm. Kathy Sanford says, let's do the flip. I like it. Cindy loves fun folds. Vicki Schmidt is ready. And uh, we've got Julianne from Iowa. You don't mind me being nailless because it's starting to get pretty grim here, people. I can't get this off. Like, this stuff doesn't come off with fingernail polish remover. I would have to soak my fingers in acetate. And that's, I mean, they're already trash. When you get acrylic nails off, your fingernails were ground down to begin with. And so they're not in good shape. And, uh, yeah, I can't get this stuff off. So it's just going to have to happen, I guess. Where's my Miss Vicky when I need her? She's my nail salon lady. Anywho, enough about my nails, right? You're like, oh, my Lord, will you just get on with it? Okay, can you guys tell that I'm, a, you know, you get a little lazy, not lazy, you get a little lonely sitting at home by yourself all the time. I do have Haley here, and that's nice. And Steve was working on the bathroom all day. He's putting in the wood trim, and so that took him all day. It's a kind of a small bathroom. Don't tell him I said this. But, you know, when you're not a carpenter, it takes you 20 hours to do something a carpenter could do in, like, two, right? So we all, I get that because I, I can do the same thing. Jay says, Jay's here. She says, it's a beautiful day in the Northwoods. Is it sunny there, Jay? Because it's really crummy here. Michelle says it'll come off with a nail file. I know, but do I really want to grind my nails anymore? Because they're, they're in pretty bad shape. I, I actually looked for some clear fingernail polish so I could at least make them not look so crummy. And all my fingernail polish is all kind of thick and dried up because I don't paint my own nails. So, anyways, we're going to be using Welcome Easter today. The card that we're going to make can be a baby card. It can be a birthday card for a little person, um, like a toddler type age, or it can be an adorable Easter card. And I'm going to bring in my layers here. Now, I will put these dimensions on my blog when I get this loaded up there, okay? Because this is a little bit more than just the average card. What we have here, hang on, my notes are getting covered up by my other notes. <laughs> That's kind of funny, I have notes everywhere. Um, this is Pool Party, and it is four and a quarter by 10 inches. We're gonna take this layer and do a little bit of scoring. Is this my, no? Uh, yep, I think it is. Okay, so I'm going to bring my arm out here. And West Virginia, Cindy says, it is beautiful in 65 there. 75, wherever Trish is at today. I'm jealous. I don't know what the temperature is here, but the door was kind of open because Steve had to bring the air compressor hose in, so the door was cracked open and the house got pretty cold. Okay. We're going to score this at one and a quarter. And then two and a half. Here we go. Three and three quarters. Does anybody know what I'm making yet? Five inches. Six and a quarter. Seven and a half. I know this is a lot of scoring. Um, and eight and three quarters. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, here we go. Now, we're going to take these and we're going to fold them up and make kind of a little double boxy looking thing. 
And I don't know, did Lisa Nealon come on here? She usually is on watching me. Lisa, I'm making your card from the team meeting swap. Lisa made the cutest, stinking, adorable Easter card for our last team meeting swap. And I decided that's what I was going to share with you today. I know you're going to love this. This seems um, like a lot of scoring, but in a minute, you'll see exactly what I'm doing here. And it's simple Simon. You just score on the lines that I told you to score on. Okay. We've done all the burnishing. And now we're going to take it and go like that. Does that make sense? You're going to... Fold it in half, open it up, take this, and go like this until you meet in the middle. Okay? Got two boxes here. You could do some binoculars. No, we're not doing binoculars, but that's what you do. And for right now, I'm just going to leave this because we're going to make the rest of our card. Okay, I have a scrap of Daffodil Delight. I have, you need a scrap of Whisper White. And from that, you're going to cut two of these. This is the rectangle stitched dies. And I measured these for you in case you don't have these dies. These are two and a quarter by three and a half or thereabout. If you don't have the stitched rectangle dies, like I really recommend them. I use these a lot and they're wonderful. They not only put the stitching on the piece that you're cutting out in the middle, but they do it on what's left over too. So. Let me see if I can find my piece in the garbage here. Yep, I'm dumpster diving. Here we go. So here's why I cut out both of these. And you can see it leaves that stitching on here. So you could do a little window in the front of a card and have a neat little stitched edge. So I really do recommend these. If you're um, in need of some rectangle dies, rectangle stitched framelit dies are fabulous. Okay, next. So I've got two of those. From this, you're going to die cut one of our scallop circles, and I don't think I measured this. This is uh, about one and a half inches, okay, from Daffodil Delight. And then we've got, I have two here in case I make a mistake, because sometimes I think ahead. <laughs> Not all the time, but sometimes I think ahead. Um, the smallest circle from the stitched shape dies, okay? So that's going to layer on there. And then I took, where did my embossing folder go? Right here. I took a piece of pool party and this is two and three quarters by five and a half. Okay. You're going to run that through the coastal weave embossing folder and end up with this. Yeah, this is the front. Isn't that pretty? I think that's just beautiful. Now, where did my card go? Hang on. Here we go. We are going to take one of these little panels and we're going to stamp our bunny with memento ink. Oh, I see Carrie just popped in and Susie. We have Donna from Saskatchewan. Terry is here and Sandra. Welcome, everybody. Um, yep, okay. We're going to stamp this right here. Oh my gosh, how cute is it? And you know what I didn't do? Where'd my set go? I didn't get any of the grass out. Lisa used the grass. So I'm going to grab the stamp for the grass and stamp a few little sprigs of grass right under my little bunny bunny. Okay. Then as long as we're stamping, we might as well keep going here. I've got the have a wonderful Easter greeting. I'm just going to use the black ink for that. I'm just going to stamp it way down here at the bottom of this layer. That looks pretty darn good, actually. Um, uh, oh, hang on. What else? Okay, so I had to hunt around for a greeting, and I've got the Hello Sunshine. This is from the Under My Umbrella set. And I'm just going to stamp that right here, and I think I just got it really off-center. So let's try that on the other side. <laughs> That looks a little bit better. Okay, so we did that. So we've got a Hello Sunshine. This is going to layer on there. Oh, under my umbrella, this is where I got the Hello Sunshine. And I just went searching for a greeting that would fit in the circle. So whatever you think might be appropriate, that'll work. 
Okay, so here's our bunny. Here's our Have a Wonderful Easter. Oh, I know. I wanted to do on this little piece, we're going to just do one of the little bees. Just going to do that just like that. And I don't like that. That did not stamp all the way. So let's try that again. Now it did. Okay. Sorry, I just yelled in your ear. Okay. We have a little bit of coloring to do here. Coloring is always a good time for me, especially when I'm on a live to chit chat. So what did you guys do today to occupy yourself? I want to know. I've got dark smoky slate here. And I'm just going to come in and add some what I'm going to consider shadow lines from a little bunny. What did you guys fill your day with? That's what I want to know. I was, of course, stamping. I had cream of wheat for breakfast. I like hot cereals. We grew up, you know, out in the country, and we were kind of poor. And hot cereal was a great way to feed your family very inexpensively, so that was nice. And uh, I had one piece of toast with homemade strawberry jam. Yeah, I like to make homemade strawberry jam. And some cream of wheat for breakfast. What did you guys have? I haven't even eaten lunch yet. We have tacos in the fridge, though, because Steve saved some of the tacos from the ones that he took to Anna's house. Maybe I'm going to do a little bit just like that. We'll see how that turns out. That could be a complete disaster. Now I'm going to bring in my light. Tanya played in her craft room. Lisa loves cream of wheat. I do, too. I like oatmeal, too. D cocoa wheats. Um, I know that when we moved to Missouri, I was a small child when we moved to Missouri, they didn't have cocoa wheats in Missouri. So whenever my grandma, my mom's mom, would come to visit us, she would always bring us a case of cocoa wheats. And that's just chocolate cream of wheat, basically. Now you got to keep blending where I put that darker color on there. You're gonna, your bunny's gonna look kind of silly. I'm gonna keep blending, keep blending till all you've got there is the shading and not just like a stark weirdo line. And sometimes you think like, oh, well, mine has a stark weirdo line. I can never get it to blend. You're not blending enough. Just keep coloring on it. If you're using our Whisper White cardstock, it will not get weird and pilly. From your continually coloring over it like this. It's just like the nicest, nicest cardstock. Yeah, this looks really good. <laughs> I am a coloring superstar today. We'll see. Now, I, I just jinxed myself. I'm going to go out of the line. It's going to be a disaster because I just like was bragging how good I'm doing with my coloring. We'll see. It could all go downhill really fast, right? Yeah. Rose says her niece came over and trimmed her toenails. Oh, that's a great, that's a nice thing for her to do. I'm sure Haley could probably use her toenails trimmed too. You know, before all the salons closed, I was going to take her in for, um, treat her to a pedicure before she has the baby. But that's over. Yeah, so I'm curious to see what I'm going to hear from Haley and Jared about the, uh, you know, their appointment. She's going in for her ultrasound right now. The doctor said that she wanted to do another ultrasound because the, uh, she measured, last time Haley had an appointment last week, she measured Haley's belly and it was smaller than the week before. She says she doesn't think it's anything to worry about. She just thinks that the baby has, you know, gotten into position to be born and then her belly got smaller than it was the year, the year, the week before. So they're not concerned about anything, but they still needed to do the ultrasound just to make sure there's not anything weird going on. So Haley's all good with that. She's not like, oh my gosh, what if something's wrong? Da da da. She's totally not like that. She gets that from me. I'm not a my glass is half full. I'm not a person that panics over things until I know all the details. <laughs> and then I don't really panic. You have to sit back and kind of think about things. I've never been panicky. So now, I just use Granny Apple Green Light from my grass. And this is a light flirty flamingo. This looks really kind of neon-y pink, but I think it'll tone down as it dries all the way. Oh, don't forget the bunny nose. Hello. 
and this bunny looks super super cute with the white teeth so don't color over your teeth you want to leave those white and I'm gonna bring out my color lifter here because I did kind of color over one of the teeth so I'm just gonna see if I can lift that up a little bit okay so make sure <laughs> make sure you leave his teeth white okay first thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna take our little bunny and Oh, Tundra says she made a collage for a shadow box picture frame. Whoops, hang on. Using the best dressed paper went back to your fall come together bundle video for the basics. Thank you for those instructions. You are very welcome. And it just makes my heart happy to know that those types of things are really helping you guys um, create other things. Because that's what it's all about, right? Is sharing, sharing those ideas so that you can either copy them completely or use them to come up with something on your you know that you design I'm all good with people copying me completely I I that doesn't bother me some demonstrators get a little weird about it but I am so good with that you just copy away I do not care one way or the other you can change a little bit you cannot change a little bit doesn't make any difference to me okay here comes our little hello sunshine I like that okay and let's see I've got my dog builder punch right here and I happen to have a pool party scrap and I just thought I could have put this in the middle of my circle but I just thought why not add this cute little heart I've been adding these cute little hearts to everything ever since I did the paper pumpkin because they have cute little hearts in it which reminds me I did not I have those cards right here just in case you missed my blog hop these are my alternate projects that I made for the paper pumpkin kit from March. Now people ask, oh my gosh, can I order that kit? No, you can't. You have to be a subscriber and you would have had to subscribe by March 10th to get this kit. But isn't that cute? There are actually two stamp sets in this kit. Wishing you brighter days ahead. No matter the weather, we're in this together. The boots are adorable. The bunny's adorable. This little front door is adorable. I love these. So this kit was the bomb, and I still don't have mine. I had to borrow Kathy Miller's, but I am getting one. Um, Stampin' Up! said that they'll send it to me as soon as I call them back and tell them I did not actually receive mine because they thought it might come in the mail by now. Okay, next thing I'm going to do here is find my dimensionals, which I forgot to get out. So hang on, here comes my ratty little basket. <laughs> And put I'm going to put some dimensionals on here. Now, I don't want to put my dimensionals right in the middle because we're going to offset this just like Lisa did. So I'm just going to put one dimensional over on the back of the right side. And then I'm going to bring my little greeting right in here. I'm just trying to make sure that it's on here. The words are straight. Look at, look at how cute that is already. So we could actually take this. And, you know, if we cut it a little smaller, this would make a great card front, too. But we're going to do a pop-up card. And this is called a freestanding pop-up card. Hang on. Oh, I was going to say, did I actually get red ink on there? No, it's just a piece of paper. I need to color my little B. I'm going to grab my, this is, hang on, Light Mango Melody. You could grab yellow, too, whatever works. For, oh, that's the wrong side. That better not bleed through. That's going to make me mad. Okay, there we go. There's our little B. Just a teeny weeny weeny little bit of yellow. I'm going to take this and put it on the back of this embossed panel. And it's going to go right up here. There we go. This is going to be where you can write. Okay, so this is our front. This is our back. Then we're going to take this piece. And I'm going to use my little mini guillotine trimmer. This thing is so perfect for this. And I'm just going to push this. I don't know how big this is. I just wanted a sliver. Okay. So I just stamped it on a scrap and I'm cutting a sliver. So whatever greeting you use on your freestanding pop-up card, you can do it the same way. Makes it easier. There's no measuring. It just is what it is, right? Now, this guillotine cutter, you guys have heard me say this a million times, you get this when you join my team. Whether you're going to be a business builder or a discount shopper, we do not discriminate. You get this along with a um, pack of, sampler pack of paper 
and any stamp set of your choice on top of the whole kit contents that you get to choose. The next thing I'm going to do here is bring in my Settles. This is my Settle 6x6 Designer Series paper. I love having these on hand because if you just have them in your arsenal of paper and you need something that matches what you're making, these are perfect. You get little two sheets of each design, double-sided. They have different designs on each side. I've got the Pool Party. Hang on, let me put this one back. I'm, Lisa used this, so that's what I'm using because her card is just absolutely stinking adorable. So now we need a piece of this that is one by four. So I'm going to put this in here. Hang on. One inch by four inches. Isn't that nice? It's nice. It's yours free when you join my team. Yeah, I'm nice like that. <laughs> okay. So next thing we're going to do, oops, I got some fuzzies. I'll make that the back. There was something on there, like a little mark. We're going to put this right on here. Okay, so we haven't put this together yet because we have some decorating to do, and it's much easier to decorate when you leave this laying flat. So on the third panel down, we're going to bring this designer series paper in here. Okay, just like that. See that? It goes right there. And then right on that paper... We're going to take that little yellow piece and we're going to glue that on right in the middle of here. There we go. Have a wonderful Easter. Next what we're going to do is we're going to take some of our quarter inch seam binding and I love this stuff. I think this may still be on back order but it's coming. It will be back in stock. and. We're going to take our Stampin' Blend marker, and I love this white seam binding because you can color it with your Stampin' Blend marker. Did I say Stampin' Write marker? I meant Stampin' Blend marker if I said the other one. This is a Stampin' Blend marker, and what I love about this is you can color your ribbon any color that you have a Stampin' Blend for, and you don't have to color the other side because it just bleeds through. Both sides are the same, which is really cool. I see I missed a little bit here. Okay, so what we're gonna do with that is take it and wrap it around this layer, and then we're gonna tie it in a bow. So I need to see how much I need here. Is that gonna be enough? I think it will be. I'm going to snip this off. Is anybody freaking out that I left this open? You should be. Don't ever leave your markers open like that. You should be closing them up at all times. I don't know what that black is that I got on here, but I don't like it. I don't know. I got I got it into something. Anyways, we'll keep going. I'll, I'll deal with it. Okay, so I'm going to put this onto my two and three quarter inch layer and tie it in a bow. So I just wrapped it around the whole thing. I want my bow to be just like Lisa's and end up right here on the bottom of my layer. Let's see how well I can do. I could use a finger right now and not the middle finger. <laughs> a bow tying finger. Okay, I think we're gonna be okay with that black spot. Watch this. You know, there's always a way to fix stuff, isn't there? Look at, I put it right under there can't even see it and you probably didn't see it anyways but I did okay here's our little bow I'm gonna move this up just a little bit there we go now because my bow is a little loose I didn't get as tight as I really would have wanted to and rather than try to retie it and mess around with that easy solution take a mini glue dot and put it right under where your bow knot is That'll keep it right in place where you want it, right? Yay! Little little tip there. That's a good tip, too, because sometimes it's hard to tie bows without tying a knot first, right? We can do that with baker's twine, but not so much with ribbon because you don't want it to get too bulky. Okay. Oh, Lisa didn't color this part pink. I just looked at her card, and I'm like, oh, I colored that pink. It's okay. You can color it pink or not color it pink. I'd leave it white, but whatever. Okay, now here comes this layer. What we're going to do here, I'm going to get out my tear and tape. 
And the reason why I use this is because whenever you are folding paper, whenever you're doing paper engineering, your folded things always want to pop back to their original position. So you want to make sure that you're using a really good adhesive. Tear and tape is one of those. So here's the front. I'm going to turn it over. I'm going to fold in one tab here and we're going to put some tear and tape right on here. I'm putting it at the bottom of this layer and at the top of the layer. And I just ran out of this roll, I think it's done. Yep, this roll, I just used the whole thing up. I got another one though, don't worry. And now we have this one. Okay, so I'm gonna trim this off because I don't want this sticking out the side. I got it a little bit long there. Okay, next. Um, hmm. Let's see, I think I'm going to do one piece of tear and tape on this layer too. I don't know if I really need to or not, but I'm going to, I'm going to, just because. And now we're going to put our card together. Oh, huh. Nope, that's right. Is that right? Nope, that's not right. Hang on. I screwed it up. Give me a second to think. Oh, I know. I didn't screw it up yet. We're good. Okay, I forgot to cut. We have to cut a slit in here. Whew! I'm like, what did I do wrong? So let's bring our paper cutter back in here. Now, on this very middle line, so fold it in half so you know you're on the middle line, you need to cut a slit that is at least two and three quarters inches wide. So I'm just going to bring this up here and see... I centered this, get this out of the way. I need a slit in here. I completely forgot about the slit. So I've got my score line right there. I'm just going to cut and I'm gonna cut from about here to here. Let's see, is that wide enough? Maybe, you need this to be able to slide through there. Nope, I need it to be a little bit wider. So however wide the panel is that you're putting in your card, you're going to, come on, this keeps getting stuck. There we go. I think this is my old paper cutter too, and it is not very, this blade is like jacked up. Haley's got my other paper cutter and I can't find it. Like I looked for it and I don't know where she put it. Okay, now we got it. Okay, so you're gonna put this through that slit. Okay, so we just slit two and three quarter inch long slit in the middle of this layer. And then we're gonna take off our backing. And again, this is called a freestanding pop-up card. I haven't made one of these in a very long time, but they're, they're really easy and they're pretty spectacular. So here we go. Now you're gonna take this let me think about this for a second. Yep, okay. You're going to take this and you're going to make it meet. Did I just screw that up? <laughs> I think I messed it up. Hang on. Oh yeah, because I didn't cut it in the middle. I cut my slit right here. Okay, so ignore what I just did there. This is live TV, people. It's always interesting. We're going to cut our slit in the middle panel. I accidentally cut it over there, and that's not where it should have been. So, cut it in the middle like I told you to do. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some tape and tape that one closed that I didn't want. So, don't worry. You'll do yours right. Just close that right up. Okay, here we go. Here comes our bunny. Make sure that you've got your card. No, I, you guys, I screwed this up. I royally screwed this up. What did I do wrong, Lisa? Oh, I've got it going. I've got this upside down. That's what happened. Okay, 
Whew. Hang on, we're gonna redo this right here. And I can't grab anything because I don't have any fingernails. We're gonna redo that little part. That's the only thing that's wrong here, you guys. <laughs> oh my lord. Some days are better than others. I'm glad you guys are patient. It's like, holy cow, she doesn't even know what she's doing. I think she's had too much to drink. I really haven't. I haven't made one of these in a long time. So I'm going to stamp this again just on my yellow scrap. Oh, I did good. Bring this in. I just put my greeting upside down. You guys are so patient and so sweet. Thank you so much. And there we go. Okay, try this again. I'm not going to put that on until we're done. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, so this has to go through the top in the middle. And now what you're going to do is get your garbage out of the way. Because <laughs> you're going to bring this in. And you're going to line this middle panel up on the center and stick it down. See that? I just stuck it to that one. Now I'm going to bring this other one in here. And once you make one of these, there's probably an easier way to do this. And obviously I should have made one. <laughs> so I knew what I was doing. But um, honestly, I have made these before. Okay, so here we go. Here is our, look it, it stands up just like that. Okay, it stands on the table. You've got these two little boxes here. Cute little spot to write your greeting. We've got our little bunny here. I'm going to put this. Happy Easter on right side up. And just like this. And then this goes in an envelope. What do I have happening here? There we go. Okay. So when you get ready to put this in an envelope, A lot of times, if you didn't have a ribbon here, you could push this right up to here and it'll lay flat. But Lisa put um, an envelope, or I mean a ribbon on hers, and then that makes it so it doesn't slide real good. So you can just take it and go like this. That will It will fit right in an envelope and mail it off. And then when your people get it, they're going to go, whoa, what's this? Oh, look at that. How cool is Aunt Mary? <laughs> or how cool is Grandma? Or, how cool is my sister? Look what she made. But isn't that just stinking adorable? So Lisa has the Fable Friends stamp set. She used this Easter greetings on here. And I see that she put a little Wink of Stella on her bunny too. So I'm going to do that also. Just on the little middle. Oh, I just smeared it all over. And maybe on my heart. Because why not? You could do that before you put the heart on your layer. That puts some glimmer in there. But yeah, super duper cute. I pretty much made it exactly like Lisa did. I used some different colors, I think. Um, and a different greeting here from the under my umbrella. Because I don't have the Fable Friends. But if you have the Fable Friends, that's where the Easter greeting is coming from. But there's our cutie patootie little card from Lisa Nealon, one of my team members. I got this in our swap. Did I actually? I did. You know what? I missed a little spot right there. Let me put some more. There we go. A little some more yellow on. And it's called a freestanding pop-up card. Super duper cute. What do you guys think? Yeah, right? I love these. Now, is there like a million things going through your head like, ooh, what else could I use this for? This could be used for any type of stamp set, literally. You could do the umbrellas. Um, and the way that Lisa had hers fold up like this, doesn't matter if you have things sticking up on here. Because, um, like I said, most of the time you would push everything through. I'm going to pull this up over the ribbon if I can. It's going to get kind of weird. You would just pull it up like that, and it'll go in an envelope like this, too. But if you want to put dimensionals on, if you want to put ribbon on where we have it here, then there's just a different way to put it in your envelope. And instead, you just push like this, and it'll fit in your envelope. Super, super duper cute. 
Do you guys remember that old chicken set we had? Not the most recent chicken set that was like celebration a year or two ago, but a really old um, chicken set. I made a bunch of these in red and black for one of my, gosh, it was probably the third or fourth convention I ever went to in Salt Lake City. I made a whole bunch of these. That was my swap card. This is an oldie but a goodie, and I'm so glad. Thank you so much, Lisa, for showing and using this card again as your swap card because that makes me think, oh, I need to make some of those. Oh, I can show everybody how to make this card that Lisa did. Super, super cute, right? Yeah. I've got a lot of Easter cards to send out just from making them for you guys. So I'm pretty excited about that. Have you guys made any Easter cards yet? Are you making Easter cards? I like to, if there's an occasion, I like to send cards out for it. I don't care what it is. Um, I'm going to flip the camera around now because I don't like talking to the back of your heads. You know how I am about that. <laughs> and... Yeah, I've got a ton of Easter cards to send out, so I'm super excited about that. This one is going to be, maybe this one will be for baby Weedley. Well, she's probably not going to be born before Easter unless they induce Haley, right? Who knows? We'll see. Um, but I could, I could just cover this up with something else if I wanted to send it to her and not be an Easter card, right? Because if this wasn't on here, it could be just any kind of a card. And um, I'm thinking like, well, babies don't know that they're getting cards, so who cares? But I'm sure when she comes out of the womb, she'll be able to read because she's going to be super smart. <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't resist. <laughs> oh, you could use it as a table favor, Michelle said. that You could make these for your Easter dinner and have it be everybody's place setting, too, with their name on it. How cool would that be? I'm just reading everybody's comments. Mary has 15 Easter cards ready. Somebody just said they had 12 ready for shut-ins. Candy doesn't have any ready. Um, Charlene hasn't started her Easter card. Cindy says, thank you so much. You're so very welcome. I'm so happy you guys could join me today. This was super fun. Yeah. So, I um, want to just remind you guys, I have the blog hop tomorrow. And it's going to be shaker cards, so I need to get my button gear and make those. And then um, I'll be working on kits this weekend. I'm hoping to get my kits done for the people who ordered the um, Welcome Easter kit. Where did my stamp set go? Like, it disappeared. Here it is. Um, I just offered last Sunday as a special little deal this Welcome Easter just the pre-cut pre cardstock pack. In light of what's happening in the world right now, I figured people could use something to do, I have a pre-cut cardstock pack for this Welcome Easter stamp set. You do, you need a stamp set like this or this stamp set. Something similar in shape and size would work fine for the cards. But you get eight cards. They're all pre-cut. You get the pieces for them. And um, a video tutorial that has some written instructions. So in case you want to make more, you have the dimensions there. And a private video tutorial for each of the cards. There's four cards. You get enough to make two of each for a total of eight. Those are on my blog. If you go to my blog, www.stampabove.com, in the right-hand column, you'll see online classes. When you click on that, it's going to take you to all my online classes. I also still have the painted poppy packets left. Let me grab one of those. Uh, maybe. Apps that you'll need for anything in the back. But card number one, and then under that, all the pieces for card number two, and then all the pieces for card number three. This is the Painted Poppies pre-cut cardstock pack. This makes eight cards also, maybe nine, I don't remember. Uh, yeah, nine cards. Um, anyways, I still have some of those left if you'd like to buy that online class. My online classes are usually $20 to $25. It includes the file with the private videos, all the dimensions, and written instructions, plus pre-cut cardstock pack. You get that for $35. So... If anybody's interested in those. Oh, and before I forget, if you're one of my global friends, and that means that you're not in the U.S., I can't award prizes to people outside the U.S., like things I have to mail to you. But um, I can't remember if it was Michelle that came up with the great idea that for my global friends that are outside the U.S., I could certainly award them one of my online classes. And so I put a 
graphic of a globe. Somebody's like, it's a space. It looks like outer space and there's hands holding a globe on my blog or I mean on my Facebook page. If you're from outside the United States, go there, leave a comment, tell me where you're from. I'm going to do a special drawing for my global friends that I can't put in the drawing to send you product, but I can give you an online class. So that was a fabulous idea. I loved it, and I probably will be doing that drawing on Friday. If I forget, you guys remind me, okay? You know I have a terrible memory. But anyway, so if you are a global friend of mine watching from another country outside the U.S., Go put your name in the drawing because um, my online classes are pretty awesome. I get nothing but really good comments. So, okay, what else is happening? Blog hop tomorrow, shaker cards with the Totally Technique design team. I'm going to be working on welcome Easter kits and also my birthday bonanza online class number two kits. I asked Haley if she wanted to help me with those Saturday because Jared works on Saturday. So I think she'll come over and help me get those done. And um, I am planning on doing a live tomorrow. I have no idea what we're making. I will figure it out. And I will be back here to report in to you on day, today's day 11 of Facebook Lives. I will report in on day 12 tomorrow with something inky, right? <laughs> okay, you guys, um, if I missed any questions, if you needed an answer to something, um, please uh, message me or email me. Email is the best because sometimes I can't get to the messages right away so I don't open them and then people think I'm ignoring them, but I'm really not. I'm just going, I have to get this done before I can do all of those. But I will get to you, I promise. I always do. And if I don't, if you're like, she said she always gets to people, but I emailed her three days ago and I still haven't heard from her. I missed it. Send it again because I don't, I don't take that long to answer emails. Kathy says, can we get the birthday bonanza? Absolutely. I have not closed those out yet. So there's three different options for the birthday bonanza. You can get the entire product bundle that I have put together from me for $93. You get the online class for free and the bonus pre-cut cardstock pack for that class. Okay. If you order the product from me and it's $93, I will send you a PayPal. You fill out a form. I send you a PayPal invoice. You pay it. I order your stuff. However, the dies for the birthday bonanza and the pom-poms are on back order expected in pom-poms on the 30th, the dies on the 13th. So what I've been doing is I've been ordering all the stuff and um, accept those two items and having it shipped to you. And then I'll get the dies and the pom-poms and mail them when they come in. So I want to let you know that first of all. Option number two is to get the online class. It's $35. It includes the online class and the pre-cut cardstock pack, okay? And then the last way to get the class is for $25, you get the online class PDF only. That is available to my international friends always. You can always buy those online classes. I just can't send you the pre-cut cardstock pack. So you can, global people can do option three. Um, U.S. residents can do option one, two, or three. Completely up to you. So, good question. Thank you for asking. Hi, Jennifer Watson. Um, yeah, so that I have, I have those, I have more classes available, but I just want to let you know that the painted poppies, I still have, I made up a whole bunch of extra packets of these pre-cut cardstock packs because um, I have a lot of people contacting me after I've kind of done a cutoff date, and I'm like, darn it, I hate to, you know, say, oh, sorry, I don't have any left. That sucks. So, Made a whole bunch of extra ones of these because I knew that this, this painted poppies would be around for quite a while, right? It's going to be at least until the end of this catalog. Anywho, oh, I think I've rattled long enough, right? Who wouldn't let you order the birthday bonanza? Yeah, you can't order the bundles, Cynthia, because the dies are not orderable right now. However, what I do is I order the stamp set. And then we've got, there's a list of products that are included in this if you order option number one from me. The stamp set, dies, pom-pom, oh, I've got it right here. Uh, the corrugated embossing folder, or you can change that for any other folder you would like. The designer series paper and the ribbon. So what I do is I put the order in for everything except the dies 
and the pom poms. And am I am I eating it there? Yes, I am because when you put the stamp set together with the dies, you get a discount, right? And I didn't change my price to account for that, but it's okay. Um, I'm willing to sacrifice. I know that when Stampin' Up! has stuff on back order, it's a hardship on you guys, my customers, too. And so I can eat a little bit to make things right. And I want you to get your products right away because even if you don't have the dyes, everything else is stinking adorable and you can use the stuff until your kit gets there. Right? Right. So, um, set by itself, and that's what I did. Oh, I have a low network connection. That's really weird. Oh, I see it stopped on my screen, too. Huh, I wonder why. Anyways, I'm going to let you guys go before my internet goes out. I have some shaker cards to make. <laughs> I hope you guys have had a good day. I know it's getting harder and harder every day. But I want you to stay strong. Keep stamping. Think of ways that you can make the world a brighter place with your crafting, right? That's what we can do right now, is make the world a brighter place. Send cards to your neighbors. Send cards to friends you haven't heard from in forever. Just tell them you're thinking about them. Oh, and I did put a post on my Facebook page today about what would you write inside the cards if you were to give a bunch to your assisted living facility or your nursing home? What messages are you putting in them? Because I've had people ask me, what should I write in them? So I appreciate everybody that commented on that to, to give us some ideas because Lots of times people really struggle with what to write on the insides of cards. And stampers are the nicest people, aren't they? Mm -hmm. All right. You need to go check out the Coronavirus Rhapsody. It is the Queen song. It's hysterical. Like, I laughed and laughed. I thought it was really funny. And not making fun of the coronavirus by any means. But we do need to make light of the situation. Otherwise, we're all going to cry, right? Yeah, so... Keep it positive, my friends. All right, I'm going to sign off. I have to go to the bathroom. Too much information? Perhaps. Make sure you share my video, whether you're now or on YouTube. Head over to my blog. Um, on YouTube, you're going to find it right up here. It's going to pop into the screen when I do the replay. And if you'd like to place any orders, I always appreciate your orders. You're going to find a host code in the right-hand column on my blog. That is the current host code. Use that if your order is under $150. If it's over $150, do not use the code. You're going to get rewards from Stampin' Up! And I want you to have those. You guys have yourselves a wonderful rest of your Thursday. And I will see you back sometime tomorrow. Bye-bye.